Breaking news from SpaceX that'll make your heart race. The Starship Flight 5 booster came within one second of a catastrophic failure during its historic landing attempt. Thanks to a leaked conference call, accidentally shared by Elon Musk himself during a Diablo 4 gaming session, we now know just how close we came to disaster. Remember that breathtaking moment when the massive Super Heavy booster swung towards the catch tower, engines blazing? Behind that spectacular scene, SpaceX engineers were watching in silent tension as a critical system teetered on the edge of failure. A misconfigured spin gas support system nearly triggered an automatic abort that would have sent the booster crashing into the ground beside the launch mount. But that's not all. Today we're diving deep into three major revelations about Starship's next flight, Europe's ambitious new space exploration roadmap, and China's expanding presence in orbit. From never-before-heard details about Flight 5's near-miss to exclusive insights about Flight 6's upcoming launch, this is the space news you can't afford to miss. Welcome to Elon Musk 24 Hours, your premier source for all things SpaceX and space exploration. Let's dive right in. Let's break down exactly what we learned from this remarkable leaked audio starting with that heart-stopping near-miss during Flight 5's landing attempt. The SpaceX employee's voice on the call reveals a critical detail about the Raptor engine's startup sequence. During the landing burn, the inner ring of 13 Raptors needs to ignite with perfect precision. However, there was a potentially fatal flaw in the spin gas support system, the component responsible for kickstarting these massive engines. Think of it like trying to start a jet engine mid-flight. You need compressed gas to spin up the turbo pumps before adding fuel. If that initial spin-up isn't perfectly timed, the whole system can fail catastrophically. According to the leaked audio, the pressure didn't ramp up at the expected rate, nearly triggering an automatic abort sequence. We were one second away from that tripping and telling the rocket to abort and try to crash into the ground next to the tower, the SpaceX engineer explains, with Elon shocked Wow yikes response in the background of his gaming session, perfectly capturing the gravity of the situation. But that's not even the most concerning revelation. During the transonic phase, when Starship transitions from supersonic to subsonic speeds, something went terribly wrong with the booster's exterior. Our team has analyzed the ultra slow motion footage captured by Cosmic Perspective and you can clearly see a critical component called the chine cover literally being torn to shreds. This isn't just about aesthetics. These covers protect crucial systems, including the pressurized bottles containing that vital spin-up gas we mentioned earlier. The SpaceX engineer confirms what many of us suspected. The skin was only held together by spot welds, not the continuous beads used on other sections. While they anticipated some damage, the failure occurred in possibly the worst location, directly above a cluster of single-point failure valves essential for landing. Here's where things get even more interesting. Despite these close calls, SpaceX isn't slowing down. Our sources indicate Flight 6 is coming sooner than anyone expected, with a focus on what they're calling booster risk reduction, rather than pushing the envelope with the upper stage. The most significant change? This will be the first Starship launch free from FIA constraints. SpaceX can now launch on their own timeline, balancing speed with safety in a way we've never seen before. Just as SpaceX pushes forward, the European Space Agency is making bold moves of their own. Their newly announced Explore 2040 initiative isn't just another bureaucratic roadmap, it's a complete reimagining of European space capabilities. The cornerstone of this plan, the Argonaut Lander, developed in partnership with Airbus. This 1.7 metric ton cargo carrier isn't just another moon lander, it's Europe's ticket to establishing a permanent lunar presence. But they're not stopping there. ESA's revolutionary lightship concept combines electric propulsion with an ambitious vision, creating a highway to Mars complete with its own communication and navigation network. This isn't science fiction, it's part of a comprehensive plan that includes the Rosalind Franklin rover designed to drill deeper into the Martian surface than any previous mission. While all this is happening, China has quietly been making moves that could reshape the balance of power in space. 
The Chinese Space Agency just unveiled plans to double the size of their Tiangong Space Station, transforming its current T-shape into something unprecedented. Their new spacecraft, the Mengzhou, isn't just another capsule. It's being built in two variants, one for low Earth orbit carrying up to seven astronauts, and another specifically designed for lunar missions. With a planned 2027 debut alongside the Long March 10 rocket, China is positioning itself for a major leap forward. But perhaps most intriguing is their announced space telescope project. Imagine a Hubble-class observatory with a wider field of view and significantly higher resolution, capable of mapping 40% of the visible universe. This isn't just about scientific discovery. It's about establishing China as a major player in space exploration. The timeline we're witnessing is unprecedented. Three major space powers are simultaneously pushing the boundaries of what's possible, each taking different approaches, but all moving with remarkable speed. With SpaceX's next launch approaching, ESA's ambitious plans taking shape, and China's rapid expansion, we're entering a new era of space exploration where the impossible is becoming routine. The space race of the 2020s is unlike anything we've seen before. While SpaceX pushes the boundaries of reusable rockets, coming within one second of disaster yet pressing forward, Europe and China are making their own bold moves. This isn't just about individual achievements anymore. It's about reshaping humanity's future in space. As we await Starship Flight 6, one thing is clear. Every launch, every near miss, and every breakthrough brings us closer to becoming a truly spacefaring civilization. Whether it's SpaceX's rapid innovation, Europe's methodical expansion, or China's ambitious growth, each program adds another piece to this incredible puzzle. What are your thoughts on these developments? Which of these space programs do you think will achieve their goals first? Share your predictions in the comments below. I'd love to hear your perspective on where this new space race is heading. If you want to stay updated on all the latest developments in space exploration, especially SpaceX and Starship news, make sure to hit that subscribe button and join our growing community here at Elon Musk 24 hours. Ring that notification bell to never miss an update about these groundbreaking missions. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you found these insights valuable. It really helps support the channel and allows us to keep bringing you the latest space news and analysis. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.